Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here. So we got some big news. The Washington Commanders are moving on from Jason Wright and are looking for a new team presence. So we're gonna break that down in today's video. Also, talk about if it's possible that they'll go back to the old name or stick with this name or maybe go to another name. Uh, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as well. We're 140 subscribers away. Just 140 away from 13,000 subscribers. I know some of y'all who are watching aren't subscribers. Just give me a chance. Just hit that button. It's free. It takes one second. Also, comment down below if you like this move or not and if you think they're going to go back to the old name or change the name. So this is not surprising at all. Uh, you're never really surprised when a new regime comes in or new ownership comes in and they bring in other guys or they move on from other from you know previous uh, presidents or you know coaches front office and that's what they've done so far moved on from Rivera moved on from a lot of the front office brought in Adam Peters Dan Quinn and a bunch of other front office guys coaches and now it's moving on from Jason Wright Jason Wright you know he was put in a very very difficult situation Let's keep it real. I mean, he had to go. Him and Rivera were in really bad situations, but at least Rivera could control the football side of things without Snyder affecting it too much. Whereas, you know, Jason Wright, everything that Dan Snyder did make him look bad. But yeah, Jason Wright for sure made some bad decisions himself and some bad moves. But, and we'll talk about that in a second, but he was a great guy. I uh, met, you know, met him before, talked on the phone with him once, really, really cool guy, uh, really nice guy, tried as much as possible to listen to what the fans had to say, stuff like that, uh, but obviously, you know, you had the Sean Taylor, deba uh, the, you know, deba debacle, uh, fiasco, whatever you want to call it, that just wasn't his you know the his day it wasn't handled the best way possible they told everyone late they announced it late they told alumni late everything like that the porta pot just a lot of stuff that didn't sit well with a lot of fans even some you know former players and media as well you have the name which a lot of people don't like at all I'm not a big commanders you know name fan but at this point I really don't care I'm past it if they want to move and you know go back to the old name or you know get a new name whatever that's fine i don't think as much as a lot of people would like i don't think they're going back to the old name at most i believe they would go something similar uh and maybe keep the logo or something like that or just do a you know the feather as the logo whatever i think that would probably be the best scenario uh i i would would like that but if they stay with Commanders, I'm also fine just because, again, going through another, even though that likely would be the last one, going through another name change for me is just not something I want to do. Not something I want to do. So uh, if they do it, whatever, I'll be fine with whatever name, I guess, because, you know, Commanders is not a good name, at least in my opinion. But it's not the end of the world. It's just a name. There's a lot of teams with not so good names and they win and those names don't really matter. So if they want to change the name, go ahead to Red Wolves, the Wolves or whatever, whatever it's going to be. I don't know. But uh, Jason Wright, again, he had his mistakes. He did some good things. Uh, just put in a really bad situation again with Dan Snyder and the Washington Post stuff that happened when he got here and then all the financial, like just so much stuff that you don't know how much of it was on Jason Wright and how much of it was on Dan Snyder, like even the name stuff. Maybe Jason Wright had some certain ideas, but Dan Snyder was like, you know what? We're doing this. We're doing this. That is a possibility and you can't put it past Dan Snyder also. That's why you just can't fully blame jason wright for some of the mistakes and yeah it is what it is he did make some improvements he did make you know have some good moves but of course there were some big mistakes as well and now the commanders are on you know whoever they hire as president that guy's gonna be tasked with finding a new stadium like for first finding a location for a stadium and then building the new stadium stuff like that 
a you know potential name or at least coming to a fight like because the fans aren't going to rest until there's a final decision because you know josh harris he hasn't completely dismissed changing the name he's basically just said right now we have other things to focus on so at least the president's gonna have to make a decision or i think they should make a decision and a public decision on okay we're gonna stick with the commander's name we're gonna go back to some sort of you know tie to the old name or we're gonna go to a completely new name whatever they do i'm fine with it but i think they should announce it just so that whatever we're done with it and no one's going to be like oh let's switch i mean there'll still be people saying go switch back to the old name but way fewer people again for me i'm fine if it just stays at commanders because this all this stuff is just so much annoyingness i'd rather just focus on football we have a new regime a new quarterback you know new everything let's just focus on that uh and you know maybe down the line they switch the name whatever if they do that that's fine if they don't it's also fine uh but yeah new president is gonna have to do it still is gonna have a lot on his plate still gonna have a lot of his on his plate so josh harris had a statement he said josh has made a remarkable a remarkable impact on the commander's organization since he joined four years ago he stepped in at a time of immense challenge and has led this organization through an incredible transformation that set the stage for everything that is uh, to come i'm extremely grateful to jason for his partnership to me and the rest of the ownership group over the past year his guidance has been invaluable and his leadership has helped reshape our culture i want to thank him for his dedication to this team our fans and the community i'm grateful to have his support through this transition period as we begin the process of finding the next president of this organization so he's going to be an advisor and is going to help find the new president so that's cool and i think jason has a lot of potential for whatever he wants to do obviously played in the league and now a team president definitely definitely could see him as a politician for sure could see him as a politician or you know ceo at a company or whatever uh he does have again a lot of potential and just you don't know how much dan snyder affected some of his decisions here and his performance. i mean you know it did for sure at least a little bit but we don't know to the extent how much it really impacted things uh but of course again i don't want to take all the way or take all the blame away from jason wright because he did have some of the mistakes or some of his own mistakes for sure that were very clearly on him uh, but he had a lot to deal with so Regardless, I'm wishing him nothing but the best wherever he goes moving forward. And he did help take out a lot of the bad people that were in this organization and replace them with at least better people, you know, significantly better people uh, that have, you know, helped this, you know, team grow a little bit. So, hey, shout out to Jason Wright again. Hopefully things go well with him in the future. And the president, it's really more of a football or business side of things. So, the stadium and you know some practice facility stuff how to make more money for the team sponsorship so it matters but obviously adam peters and even the coach matters a lot more at least to us than you know the team president so that is it for today's video just a quick video i was debating whether i was going to make this video or not uh but it's a big thing also i didn't make a video on it but iuk requested a trade I don't know what'll happen there. I think he's just trying, you know, gain some leverage. I don't think he's going anywhere, at least not this season. And you know, if the Commanders get, you know, get him in the off season, I'm I'm with that. But I'd rather not uh, trade for him. I just don't think that is the best move. But that's it. And if you guys stay till the end, go ahead and comment down. Again, we always do this. Uh, which player should I do? Let's go ahead and do... Hmm, we'll go Kendall Fuller. Not, not an OG player at all. I mean, I guess somewhat. He was here a while ago, but definitely going to miss Kendall Fuller. I uh, was a very solid player for us for a while and a good hokey too. Peace, guys.